So we have another rule of circles dealing with the angles, the central angle, that there is a relationship between a central angle and an inscribed angle. And that's a two to one ratio, a one half concept. So if this central angle was, uh, let's say, 60, then this inscribed angle is 30. It doesn't matter where on the circle we are. As long as it's an inscribed angle, it will be half of the central angle. All right, so let's go. So if we have a central angle of 60, oh wait, we just did that, and x's are inscribed, that would make it a 30 degree angle. Yeah, we're really just that simple. If our central is 120, then our inscribed down here at D is 60 degrees. All right, so angle A. Well, they don't tell us what the central angle is. But there is that other rule of circles that the central angle is the same as the arc. So our central is 84. Um, so that makes angle A half of 84 or 42 degrees. So you're going to have to bounce, be able to bounce between the arc and the central angle. And the arc and the central angle are the same number. Um, find the measure of arc WX. So they want us to find this. All right. So that, we got an arc on the right that's 110. Uh, circle's 360. So there's 110 that we already know. So from X all the way down to around a Y, from X all the way around a Y is 250. How far is it from Y to W? Well, again, the inscribed angle is 75, and the inscribed is half of the central, and therefore half of the arc. So it makes that arc 150. So that'll take away another 150, and our arc from WX is 100. So you're bouncing between arcs and centrals and inscribes. Do, 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 measure of angle G. So if we can find this arc, we can find G. So I got 360 in a circle. And I know 70 of it. And I know 120 of it. So it means I know 190 of it. So that means there is 270 left. So that means this is 270. Well, G is going to be half of that because, again, central angle can't be two, not 270, 170. Come on. Let's do our math right. I thought 170, 270 sounded bad. 170. So that angle that inscribed is half of that, so that would be uh, what, 85? All right. All righty. So we have a central angle of 70. So BDC. B to D to C. It's catching the same angle that the 70s is catching. It's catching the same arc. So therefore, BDC is 35 degrees. Um, CAB. C to A to B. It is also catching that same arc, that same central angle of 70 degrees. So it is also 35 degrees. Because if the central is 70, that means this arc is 70. That means this is 35. All right, so EDM is a diameter. So this is a diameter. So 
that means this arc is diameter is half a circle going through the center so 180 degrees so that makes T 90 degrees which would make that a right triangle Ooh, awesome right triangles those are kind of important aren't they so all right again we've got uh, CAB well CAB well angle D is catching C to B and CAB is going through the center so that must be a diameter and it's catching therefore our angle D is catching 180 degrees and it's inscribed since it's in the circle that makes it 90 so apparently if I catch a diameter it's a right triangle that might come in handy someday and finally what does this ever do any good for well it actually is kind of applied in photography um, there's a field of view that lenses do um, based on if they're if they're a fixed uh, size lens. I mean, if you got a zoom lens, zoom is changing your field of view as you zoom in. Um, but if you don't zoom, for example, this lens is giving us a 57 degree field of view. If I want to frame this exactly the same, but get a different point of view, you know, from a different angle, so to speak. I don't move the camera just, I don't just step sideways. We don't just go over here and turn because that would actually change what we're catching. You see how this is going out here now? We actually have to kind of walk in an arc to do that. So I would have to walk kind of like that to catch the same view because, again, it's an inscribed angle that's catching a chord, basically, is what it's catching. Um, so in order to catch the same chord, I have to walk on that circle. So I'm going to kind of go up and around and you know, turn, turn in. So I've had to I've had to go up now exactly where that circle is hard to tell but see how now I'm actually up higher and I'm catching that same thing as opposed to you know I'm closer to it so, so I've moved over but I've also moved up a bit walking on an arc as opposed to just moving sideways if I just move sideways and turn to look at it. I'm going to catch a much wider field of view. So that's where it applies.